Hey everyone, it's Yayuna, and today we are at the Tucson Gem and Mineral Show. So come and join me. We are in the mineral and fossils area of town. Uh, the Gem and Mineral Show goes throughout the whole city of Tucson. And when I say the whole city, I mean the whole city. The hotels are booked up, they're filled up, and they have people selling things out of there. It sounds really weird, but it's it's completely on the up and up. Um, there's stores and places that are opened every year, and they sell. This is where museums come and get fossils. This is where you can find all kinds of stuff. So come along, let's go and check it out, because today we're doing fossils and minerals. So this is the Hotel Tucson area. And right here, there's Karen Sharon, my buddies. <laughs> here they have all of the meat. They sell meteorites. I mean, they sell all kinds of stuff. So let's go check so it out. So this right here, what is this called? Yeah, that's a palisite. It's palisite, palisite, and that's... Here in Kenya. That's what they look like. And this is what... May I, I, may I open it and show well, it to all them? All the or? cases are full of sliced pieces, so you can just video okay. those. So these are... What are they called? Slot... Palisite. Palisite, okay. A stony iron meteorite. And that's this what's in front of me, right? And if you look at it, it's stone and what meteorite? It's a peridot. Peridot. It's, it's an olivine crystal. Yeah. Trapped in an iron matrix. So these, when these are sliced open, this is what they look like inside. And there's actually more over here. Oh no, I'm oh, sorry, sir. There you go. Those are beautiful. So there's different types of meteorites. Yep, and this one, stones and irons and so this one's irons. what? This one's think, stone. That's a stone yeah. you, can, yeah, wow. you can hear my ring against mm -hmm. it. That's and then this one is called what? That's called Senchen. Senchen? So that's the and it looks like where it was found. Wow. That's beautiful. So there's all types of meteorites. So when we're walking around out in the desert, look for these kinds of stones. You might find a meteorite. Now this one, what does it look like before it's cut? Just like the ones on the table. Really? So you never know exactly wow. what type you're going to get I until know, you open it? Or wow, right. can you well, tell they're, they're the difference? They're analyzed by research scientists, so we know what they look like. This type that has all the holes and stuff in it. And That's an iron. Yeah, this one's iron. You can hear the difference in the... Mm -hmm. It's teeing, kind of, right? It's beautiful. Ocean life stuff. Look at these stars. This starfishies. Some shark teeth. So they sell all kinds of stuff. When I told you guys all kinds of stuff, I meant it. These are real coral. All right, so Kara said she doesn't mind going looking to bones as long as what? As long as what? As long as they don't come alive. Yeah, right. <laughs> so let's hope it's not a Jurassic Park situation. Let's go. Some places are sold out already. They're so popular. What are those? Aqua, Russian. All right, Russia. This is aquamarine, $5 a gram. Brazilian am rainbow specular tight hematite. No swapping of pieces. Is this natural? I think it's been sprayed. I don't know if this is natural. I don't I don't know. I never You never know. I mean it could be. Turquoise. It's Mark Net. Is just recording me outside that way I'm not going into their shops and I'm not getting anybody's names um, what was explained to me is you know they have to be really careful they don't mind people uh, taking pictures and recording but the thing is is that we have to be careful because these people travel the whole United States and sometimes they're targeted I did pay attention to farm. <laughs> petrified wood and this came from China look at that and just to give a, so you can see how big it really is. There you go. All right, guys, I was just explaining that when you used to come in here, 
it used to feel like you were walking into your uncle's basement where he had all these cool things he found while exploring. And now, it looks like a library. It looks, it looks so awesome. Look at this. So, fossil, uh, so fossils. Here you go. Mesosaurus, Permian, 285 million years old, from South America, Brazil. Look at that. And again, just so you can see, compared to my hand size, that's how big this is. Like this is four thousand five hundred dollars. This is amazing. Wow. I can't even imagine living in a world where these things were so rampant. <laughs> This is an Ice Age walrus. Look how beautiful. There's a picture. How cold it is in Alaska. It's gorgeous. And it kind of reminds me, when you look at it, at this angle right there, doesn't it remind you of the Grinch? I don't know. Oh, Viking jewelry. Scandinavian, an axe. Arrowheads, Celtic bit for a horse, a dagger. Amazing. Look at this. Yay, I love going to the gem show. You find such cool things. Roman jewelry. Oh man, look at the coins. Oh man. Roman coins. This is very awesome. Look, a Roman spearhead from. 0 to 200 AD. Look at that. Roman sword. Amia fish. Sorry, sir. Sorry. I just bonked into somebody. I think I own the place or something. Ooh, what are these? Dun, dun, dun. And go down. And they are bison from the north. The North Sea. <gasps> what is this? Is this a triceratops? Okay, just it's a triceratops, and just to give, just to give, um, do you want to stand next to it? Go kind of like crouch down. Okay, so this is Garon, a grown man, and look at this. Look how big it is. Oh my gosh, that big. Oh my goodness. These I have So here's all kinds of bones. Look at this. This must be off the spine. I don't know. I wish somebody was here to tell me. They're not labeled, which is sad. What is this? Dinosaur bone, late Cretaceous, but they don't say what it is. Now this looks like a, a spine, doesn't it? A spine from something from the spinal column. I don't know. It, it looks like it. If anyone knows? Let me know. Oh my gosh! Look at it. This is a fossil of a penguin. That is freaking awesome. All kinds of stuff. There's shells on the other side. My friend Sharon just found the shells. I'll go around over to that side right now in a second so I can show people everything. Crinoid. Now there's other places also that have the dinosaur bones. I just happened to come here because I've been here before but they changed it up and it's so much better. This is amazing. I love it. It's set up like a museum. And the thing is, is that the stuff here is for sale. Look at that. Oh, Triceratops skin. Oh my gosh, guys, that's cool. Oh. from the Institute, from the Black Hills Institute. Um, there's trilobites. And there's another area that I'll take you guys to later on where they sell tons and tons of trilobites. Look at this tiny dinosaur. Look how close I can get to it. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to go live. Oh, I'm sorry. Please excuse me. So, guys, this is a mosasaur. This is a baby. 
That's a real big snake. And this is from Africa, from around wow. Morocco. That's really huge. It's huge. Isn't nature amazing? Look at God. Look at what God created. It doesn't tell you what they are, though, huh? Yeah. So this is what I just caught, which is these right. camen site. Oh, thank you. So for those who want to, there's going to be a Munich show, October 2018. Go to the gem show, man. You'd love the table. Look at this giant turtle. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah I see yeah. turtle. And it's it's so big. It's about the size of a full size bear. Okay. For comparison, there's Kara and Sharon. You guys know how tall he is. Look at that. That looks like it's a crocodile. I don't know when it's from. Green from Logan, Utah. All right, so I was just telling Karen and Sharon that um, here in Tucson, during the Gem and Mineral Show, oh, you're looking at an amethyst, by the way. Look at this, amethyst. Look at that. Um, these are so tall. This is about as tall as Sharon is, and the amethyst is inside. Here you go. And to compare, look, compared to my my pinky, yeah, look how big, yeah. Talk about harvesting some amethyst, right? But anyways, there's a free van system that takes you all over the city to all of the different places that the gem show is at for free. So if you come to Tucson, you go to the gem show and you park at the right place, you can actually find a way to get around for free. So yeah, all right, let's go to the next place, shall we? All right, we're outside and we can record a few more things. Look at this. Yeah, I like that, this. Cool. that would be so cool. Like it's, it's a, a tabletop, table. yeah, this is mm -hmm. a tabletop. So they can make whatever you, they, yeah. Definitely, right? Okay, so this is how they find the fish sometimes that you see inside. They're round. The, the See, they could tell it was a fish because you see the tail sticking out. And then you, you slice it and you clean it up and there's parts of the fish. And that's how they do it. Isn't that amazing? And here's stalactitic quartz. Oh, so they're $12 each. So if you want to buy a stalactite, there you go. And that's kind of like what you find at Karchner Caverns. $399 for this sucker. Look at these. Who wants to come visit me next, next January, February? What do you guys think? You want to come check this out with me? You're invited. Thanks for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and share. And make sure to join us next time. Bye.